multiplying and dividing integers. Let's jump right into some examples of multiplying and dividing. Uh, the first one we have negative 12 times 5. Okay, so there is one negative sign and we're multiplying or dividing. So that means that if there's an odd number of negative signs, which there is, then the answer is going to be negative. So we know we're going to have a negative answer. And then we just take 12 times 5. So 12 times 5, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So my answer is negative 60. And the next one, we have negative 10 times negative 2. So that would be 1, 2 negative signs. So that means our final answer is going to be positive. So I'm just going to take 10 times 7. And that is 70. That's my 10. So just tack on the 0 at the end. 70. Example 3, 6 times negative 15. Alright, so again, we're looking at our negative signs. There is 1, so that is an odd number of negative signs. So our answer is going to be negative 6 times 15. So I write that out. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 1 is 6. And then you add the 3, so that would make it 90. So, not negative 90 is my final answer. And the next one, 4 is negative 120 divided by 10. It might also be written as divided by. So, I'm going to look at my negative signs. There are two of them, so that's going to make my final answer positive. And then I'm going to divide 120 divided by 10. Well, they both have a zero on the end, so I knock that off, and that's going to equal 12 over 1, which simplifies to 12. So my final answer is positive 12. Number 5, negative 33 divided by 11. There is one negative sign, so my answer is going to be negative. Then I just take 33 divided by 11. If I know my 11s, then I know that 11 times 1 is 11. 11 times 2 is 22. And 11 times 3 is 33. So that means that 33 divided by 11 is 3. So my final answer is negative 3. And the last one, example 6, the number of negative signs is 1, 2, 3. That is an odd number of negative signs, so that means my answer is going to be negative. So I'm just going to look at 42 divided by 7. And again, if I look at my 7s, 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. And continue on and you get to 7 times 6 which is 42 so that means 42 divided by 7 is 6 so my final answer negative 6 and that is it for your notes over multiplying and dividing integers go over the practice problems make sure you can do these by hand by recalling your multiplication tables and then you should be ready for a quiz over this material